Hi there, my name is Daniel from Simple Link, and in this short guide, I'm going to show you how you can correctly set up your Notion calendar to work perfectly with your Notion setup, with your Notion databases, task or project manager. For this purpose, I created a new database, a task manager, a simple one. Uh, as you can see, I have three different tasks. I created a category um, property. So I have personal work and health related tasks. I created a date property and a status property. Now, the first problem that you might face is that if you want to add this database to your Notion calendar, that you won't find it. And that's because in order to see um, your calendar, your database, your task management uh, database, you have to have a calendar view. So let's just create one and search again. And now, as you can see, we have it. We can add it. And as you can see, it already appear. Let's put it in blue. Okay. Now we have our three tasks here, but now you can see the second problem. And that's the thing that actually, if you check, send out the reporting is actually done. So it's status is done and it still shows up here. So let's fix this, uh, and also create different lists for our different categories, our different tasks. Okay, so um, this is how I like it to have separate lists for my personal, for my work, for my health related tasks. And uh, to see with different colors, maybe I don't want to see the work tasks right now, or I don't want to see my personal tasks. So let's see how we can do this. And also, of course, uh, fix this issue of completed tasks not disappearing. So what you have to do is basically create uh, different views and filter them as you want. Uh, let me demonstrate this. So this calendar view we will rename to personal. We will filter it <clears throat> so that we can see only personal tasks. Okay. And we will also add another filter about the status field and we will select that it is not completed. Okay. And now let's do the same. Let's duplicate this. Do the same for work. Select the category work instead personal and the same for health. Good. Now let's try this again. Let's remove this. Let's add it again. So task manager. But now as you can see, as we have a lot of different calendar views, now we can select these. Okay, so we can select the personal tasks then we will add again uh, work tasks and we will add the health tasks. Okay, so now we have three different lists uh, with three different categories of tasks. And the nice thing is that actually the send out the reporting is not here anymore. Okay, so let's put it back to not started. And now if you check, then it's here again. Okay. So now if you just drag and drop these tasks, um, and as you can edit here in Notion Calendar, it will actually edit the tasks in your database. And if you check something out, so for example, let's say that we did the push-ups, then as you can see, it will disappear instantaneously. Okay, and now for example, let's say I want to add the new task. 
let's say uh, take out trash we can select uh, personal tasks and if we check our database as you can see it filled out nicely all the data so now you can create tasks in your notion database that will appear in your notion calendar but you can also create tasks in your notion calendar and it will automatically be created in your notion database and of course if you want to make some other kind of edits then you always have the open in notion button uh, which if you click will open that particular task item okay so this is it this is how you set up your notion calendar to work perfectly with your notion setup i hope that this helped if you have any uh, questions uh, let me know in the comment section below and um, see you in the next video